The time has come. Today we open the greatest booster box ever made. Who is in here for the live stream? And by the way, if you're on YouTube right now and you're like, why is he talking so long? Just skip forward to when we start. You know, no big deal. This is a live stream. There's no editing. So we're hanging out with the live chat right now. But it's going to be in the, the VOD later. So sorry about that for all you guys watching on YouTube. But what is up, guys? How are you guys doing? Nathan, how's it going? Gary, how's it going? Lego Master, how's it going? Scott, Daxter, Sermon. We got Unholy Fat Man in the chat. We've got Abdullah. How are you guys doing? John M. Nolan is here. Celestial TCG. Which deck do you think? Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, we're starting off hot on this stream. Okay, here for the first time for the best box. Let's go. First time? Is it really your first time on YouTube? This is going to be a good one. Sad I couldn't get in for a chance at that gate guardian. I hope it's pulled. I've, I've not had the luck to pull it myself. So hopefully we can pull it. Or at least first edition, I haven't pulled it. What's up, Cyhawk? Tyler, Brawlzer, Corey. How you guys doing? Is this the box with gate guardian inside? I don't know, maybe. I mean, it could based on the code have it, but the, what, how many have I opened now? One box? Have we opened two of these? We did a box break, right? We didn't get Gate Guardian. We did open one myself. I didn't get Gate Guardian. So I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be tough to see if we can get one or not. America, what's up, man? I think for this one, this is a very special opening. We need, need to hit 250 likes before we get started on this box opening because this is a very special box break and it's going to be pretty awesome. I hope that we can pull some good stuff. I did a little research on some cards that you can pull. There's some really nice cards that you can pull, like just commons and like rares and stuff. That'll make you a lot of your money back if you're in the break. What's up, GG? Summon Skull would be great, man. Even if you get rares, like... All right. There are... I, I have this paste of paper right here. Here's just cards that you can get that are not foils that give you a lot of your money back. Magician of Faith, I sold a PSA 10 for like $280. So already more than a pack. Which of the Black Forest was actually kind of low at $103, but it's still like half a pack for the rare. Harpy Lady is a crazy one at common. $359 sale. $359 for a common. So if you get that one in your pack, you're looking nice. I think it's only like four, it's like still a 40 bucks near mint or something without even grading it. Gazelle, the King of Myth Mythical Beast, $250. Castle of Dark Illusions, $107. Gigatech Wolf, $202. Guilty of the D9, $126. These are all commons, by the way, except a couple of rares. Uh, Blackland Fire Dragon, 127. Elegant Egotist, 92 bucks. Mask of Darkness, this is a rare, $202. Shadow Ghoul, $274. That's a rare as well. Soggy the Dark Clown, $127. Dark Elf, $153. That's a rare, but that's still almost the whole pack. Cannon Soldier, another rare, $152. Pump King, the King of Ghosts, common, that's $152. And of course, the Pecanio Moth, $132. So I didn't look up every single co uh, like common, but that's just some that you can pull. That's not even including the foils. So this is like, this box actually has crazy value. Like you can pull some really awesome stuff. Like let's say you got the Harpy Lady and then you got a foil. I mean, you could do insane on this, you know, from just one pack. So hopefully everyone who opens will get something decent, you know, and get a lot of their money back, which I think is going to be pretty cool because this there is some pretty good value in Metal Raiders compared to basically any other set when it comes to commons and rares. LOBS and common and rare value, but nothing as iconic as Metal Raiders commons and rares. They're the absolute best. That's why I say this is the best set. Commons are awesome. Rares are awesome. Supers are awesome. Ultras are awesome. And of course, the secrets are awesome. Everything about this set is awesome. Anime, all that stuff like that. Gazelle at a $300 PSA 10. Yeah, see, see, Gazelle goes for a lot because it's, you know, of course, the, uh, uh, you know, anime nostalgia and stuff like that. So pretty amazing. All right, 100 more likes. We're going to get that thing started. Petit Moth over 100. That's nuts. Are you kidding me? It should be $1,000. That's underrated. 130 bucks for a Pequeno Moth of Steel. What website do you use to check your prices? eBay or TCG Player? I have a video about that. How to value Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Rux 34. Look that up. Uh, and I'll explain how to do it. What's up, Habitually Nostalgic? How's it going? What's up, Invector? The best set you've ever opened? This is the best set right here. Open a case of Ghost from uh, the Second Haunting yesterday. Got a Ghost Blue Eyes, two red eyes. Um, it's not bad. Oh, you took the message away. Okay, all right. 
Unhappy Maiden. I didn't look that one up, but I'm sh it's probably got some uh, value to it. Thanks for the $4.99, Habitually Nostalgic. Dope opening. Hopefully we get some good luck here. All right. 180 likes, 70 to go when we crack open this insane Metal Raiders box. It's been a while since we've opened one of these. I, didn't we do a box break one time for one of these? It was a while ago. Like, it was... It was when it was a lot more hyped, I think. And when I opened mine, I think it was end of 2020. Maybe it was 2021. I can't remember. But when I opened mine, we had some good luck. Got the Beast Skull, but we didn't get the Gate Guardian. All right. How's it going? Are you excited? Oh, yeah. Very excited. Favorite set. I'm very excited to open this. Skull Knight would be a nice common. Skull Knight. Oh, yeah. That would be a sick one. I, I'm a big fan of that. There's so many good commons in here, like, because this is a huge set as 140 something cards. So there's a lot of different commons. So I couldn't look up like all of them, but there's a lot of good ones in here. First time catching a stream live. What's up, Cards and Coffee TCG? Magic Ruler next. Uh, I don't think we have a Magic Ruler coming, but we do have some other cool ones coming. But we might have Magic Ruler at some point. We've done Magic Ruler a few times on the channel, though. Hobby Box. Yeah, Hobby Box is Gate Guardian. So, yeah. We have a Gate Guardian Hobby Box. 150k sub uh, celebration. I don't know. I don't even know if we're going to get there. I mean, that's a long way away. But if we do, hopefully we'll do something really cool. All right. 21 likes to go. We're opening this thing up. Getting this thing started. Getting the party going. Uh, Josh Evans. Luca. Lu Josh, you know that when you're saying pull Horn of Heaven, you're actually like... You're taunting the people who bought in, not me. Because, like, I these are my packs. So, I'm just saying, yeah. Some people might hate you if you keep saying that you want them to pull a horn of heaven. Just saying. I'm trying trying to help you out here. Thanks for the two. What do I do if I bought a pack from in this box, but I'm moving? Uh, you need to send me your address uh, ASAP. What is your name? Uh, like, from what you ordered it on. Or, like, what's your first, first name, last initial? So, I can mark it down. So, I don't ship it to the wrong place. Been here since 10k subs, but if you're not moving in the next like two weeks, then it, it'll get there before you leave. Thanks, Gabriel V. Appreciate it. All right, we did it. 264 likes. Let's go. Metal Raiders first edition. One more look at it before we open this thing up. We have a very nice box. Very nice box. So this is going to be pretty sick. We just picked this up from a guy on Instagram. He met up with me um, and I was like, I almost don't want to open this. But then I was like, well, let's just do it. I mean, the, this is in a very, very good condition. So it's going to be interesting to see what we get. Since this is my first time here at Ruxin. Let's get Gate Guardian into my favorite Ultra Summon Skull. I think that's like the uh, the ultimate box. So hopefully we do get that. Thanks for the five, man. Let's go. That would be an insane box. If we get Summon Skull, Gate Guardian, anything else, basically, it's going to be amazing. So here we go. Let's crack this thing open. Ooh, it hurts it hurts there it is what will we get metal raiders first edition let's see if this thing's good to go let's hope so all right beautiful box inside we have first edition packs that's a good sign nothing sketchy looking like so far uh oh this thing is not ripping very well there we go we don't want to rip the box it's a very very nice box all right. Metal Raiders. Seems like we got Metal Raiders all throughout the box. So that's a good sign that this is 100% legit. Good to go. First edition Metal Raiders. Let's just check these packs out real quick. We got the Beast Skull in the background. Beautiful. Looks super nice. Oh, yeah. This thing is looking good. This thing is looking solid. All right, guys. Are you guys ready to open this thing up? You ready to get started here? Woo, let's go. All right. We're going to start with Britain H with the first pack. So, 24 packs inside here we can get the gate guardian because it's a hobby box we can also get you know any other card in the set besides thousand dragon that's the only difference is it's gate guardian instead of thousand dragon so we're going to start off with one pack of first edition metal raiders a little bit crinkled on the top here what does that mean that there's something good we're gonna well we need to mix them up don't we yeah let's mix them up just in case because we don't want to have any mappable stuff it's not as exciting if you know what's coming up next a lot of one pack magics in here today. A couple of people got more. It was like three total people got more than one pack. So a lot of people are going for one pack magic. So that means we're almost certainly going to have somebody get, you know, one pack magic kind of like last time. So let's see. Barrel Dragon and Mirror Force will be the ultras. <laughs> Josh is backtracking. He's like, all right, never mind. Let's give some good ones. It's, it's not Ruxin. <laughs> Thanks for the, uh, for the two bucks. Here we go. First pack, Britain H. So this is the one we're going with. 
All right, we shuffled it. Don't you worry. I forgot for a second. <laughs> but yeah, let's do the shuffle. Okay. I, oh, this pack is going to rip down the middle. That's okay. That's that's actually a good way to open it. Nice and safe. Oh, yeah. Look at these cards. They're super minty. Metal Raiders. Okay, a little bit of an issue on that back. Okay. Metal Raiders usually has great print out of the box. So we're hoping that that is the case with this one. So that means you can get your PSA 10s. This is an off-centered common. That's not good if you're trying to grade them. Tainted Wisdom. We got, oh, a Harpy Lady right off the bat. Honestly, we got to look at this thing afterwards. There's a little bit of a white spot there, but I'm going to set that over there because, as I said, $350 card if it's a PSA 10. Insane. Attention, Duelist. Thanks for the 99 cents. We have the Yadukuru. We have the Destroyer Golem. The Sword of Deep Seated. So, Britain has already pulled potentially all of, like, more than his money back already out of one common. Let's see, Guilty of the D-Knight. This is also, I think, $125 card if it gets a 10. So now that they have the $18 rate for a while, well, for till the end of the month, like these are maybe even worth sending in. Well, they are if they get 100 whatever, if they're worth PSA 10 worthy or whatever. Oh, the Niwatori. I think Niwatori was like 125 as well as the chicken. Is there another foil in here? Or is there a foil, I should say? Electric Lazard and, oh, do we start off with a foil? A shield and sword, not sword and shield. That's the Pokemon games. Shield and sword. Let's check the centering. Pretty off centered on that rear, though. Okay. Back surface looks nice, though, but very, very nice. So for the commons, I probably only send them in if they get, you know, uh, if they can get PSA 10. But I wouldn't send them in if they can't. So here's the centering. Harpy Lady does have this right here. That probably uh, disqualifies it for PSA 10. Another one right there. Yeah, just some edge wear overall. Centering is actually good, which is a shame. Okay. Actually, it's not great from top to bottom but this is still probably like a 40 dollars near mint card either way a little bit of a ding there too this harpy lady has been through it but still pretty solid pack though getting a bunch of decent commons anyway no foil though but that's what i like about this there is some decent value in those cards so maybe we'll get some psa 10 worthy ones yeah it's the first pack yeah first pack we've already pulled some good stuff thank you britain for being in it you also get of course a bonus foil if you don't hit anything so very nice right there britain h one pack down three to go next up we have gabriel v one of the few people who got more than one pack he got three packs so will he actually pull a foil out of his three packs is the question it's going well joey how about you man how about you three packs we uh yeah jared we just started this is literally the second pack right here and we've been talking about the value of uh some of the commons and rears in here all right next pack First pack for Gabriel V. Here we go. Let's see if we can get some nice commons. Back centering seemed a little bit off on those. We have the Ring of Magnetism. Okay. The Mushroom Man number two. Blast Juggler. He's juggling. He's blasting. Rock Ogre Grotto number one. Thunder Dragon. Now, this is a good one. If this gets PSA 10, this is actually pretty valuable. We'll set that to the side. We'll check that out. I didn't look that one up, but I know that one's pretty expensive. Right, Kishin Power. We've got the Mystic Horseman, another cool one. The Illusionist, Faceless Mage. That's way OC. That's not getting 10. And the Dark Elf. This is one we looked at. Uh, I think it was like, what, 125, 150? Centering is a little bit off. So the rare centering has not been good so far, but... Let's see about the foils when we actually get to those. Here we go is the Thunder Dragon. Centering is very solid. Very solid. This might be a PSA 10. Is there any sort of issue? Is it like a dent right there maybe? I can't tell. Very hard to tell. On the front, I don't see anything really. So maybe this is a PSA 10 Thunder Dragon, which would probably cover the whole pack by itself. So it's pretty cool. How do you uh, sign up by pay pack? So... Uh, I announce box breaks first to YouTube members and Patreons. So uh, if you are one of those, you can click join button down below. If you want to become a Patreon, just click the link in the description. I announce it to them. They have a discount per pack, you know, based on the price of their membership. And uh, they save based on that. And then uh, 24 hours later, I announce it to everyone. But for this one, they all sold the members. So if you weren't a member, you probably didn't see it. Uh, so yeah, that's just how that goes sometimes. But that's why the members, you know, are there. So they get early access and stuff like that. So second pack, Gabriel V. Let's go. Gabriel, good start. Twin into Thunder Dragon's a great pull. Let's see if we can actually pull a foil here. Okay. No hollows yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When will you do Magician's Force again? Uh, it's too hard to open that box. A little bit too expensive for the value. Like compared to Metal Raiders, the value's awful. 
Yeah, it's really, really bad. Like, Metal Raiders has great value, and it's also cheaper. <laughs> so it, it just doesn't make sense to be able to open MFC, like, for breaks, because the packs are just too expensive. So hopefully at some point that'll correct a little bit, and we can actually do one again. Rabbit Horseman, here we go. Steel Scorpion, second pack for Gabriel. Paralyzing Potion. So far, he's done pretty good. Oh, we got a Ruxin Special with the Insect Soldiers of the Sky. Very nice right there. So far, some, some average comments here. Share the Pain, always a classic. The Block Attack, that's definitely a classic. The Dream Clown. This is the Clown of Dreams. I bet that this one's pretty decent. I don't know exactly, but I would say that this one's pretty decent. Off-center, though, so probably not great. Musician King, pretty cool one. And will we get a foil? First foil of the box. Ultra Rare Mirror Force. Oh, and does it have a little ding right there? Maybe a slight, like, indent or something like that. Ultra Rare Mirror Force with beautiful centering. We are starting it off with an amazing one. A little bit of like a surface issue right there maybe, but wow, we just got an Ultra Rare Centered Mirror Force. That is beautiful. Okay, Gabriel V, you have officially done well on this box break. Thunder Dragon and a Mirror Force, Ultra Rare. Check that out. Yes, oh my goodness. What a start. Already a great box. So what is that, our third pack? We've already, already got a Mirror Force. Woo, that's a good pull right there. That's nice. All right, all right. Now we just need that Gate Guardian. We need, if we get another Ultra too, that's like really good. I mean, in here, that's why I love Metal Raiders so much. There's only three bad Ultras and two of them are still kind of cool. The other seven are amazing. So we got Mirror Force. That is pretty, pretty amazing. Check this out, guys. Mirror Force First Edition. Yeah, that is insane. That is insane. Mirror Force First Edition, beautiful card. You love to see that. Oh my goodness, we're going to the third pack. If you guys are enjoying the stream so far, make sure to like the stream and subscribe to the channel for more epic openings like this. Okay, uh, yeah, these packs are all, all are already sold, all 24. So if you're seeing the live stream, then it's already sold out. We don't do it like during the live, we do it beforehand. Okay, and if you wanna do that, you need to become a member for early access. Check out the memberships down below, become a special footage member. Um, on YouTube or a member on Patreon. Here we go. Hunter Spider. Occubeam. Let's see what we can get for Gabriel. He's already done so well. I mean, at this point. Castle of Dark Illusions, I think, was actually a pretty valuable one. I think I wrote it down. Where was it? Castle. Uh, 250. No. $107. Okay. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Oh, we got another Ruxin special. It's always the fourth card. The Roaring Ocean Snake. We got the Protector of the Throne, which looks just like the Invader of the Throne from Magic Ruler. Very weird. The Jurai Gumo, I bet, is a great one as well. Centering is pretty bad on that guy, though. Destroyer Golem. All right, it's the next one after this. Black and Fire Dragon, I think, was a good one. And Cannon Soldier, another decent rare. So overall, pretty insane opening from Gabriel V. So we're only like, what, five packs in and Gabriel V, four packs, maybe? Gabriel V has already pulled an ultra rare, so this is insane. Oh my goodness, we can't pull Thousand Dragon out of this because this is a hobby box. Yeah. All right. Let's, um, I'm going to put this in a card saver, I think. Keep this one nice and safe. Jinzo on eBay for next to nothing because he misspelled Jinzo. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Let's sleeve this guy up. Mirror Force. First edition. What a pull. What a way to start this box opening, guys. That is amazing. Let's go. Yeah, $107 PSA 10. All those prices are PSA 10 for the for the uh, comments and stuff like that. All right. Gabriel V, huge congrats. Those three packs really paid off. If you only got one pack, you wouldn't have gotten the Mirror Force. Think about that. Pretty insane. So uh, that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Next up, we have Jerry A. So, so far, one foil only. So we've pulled our one out of four. Usually you get a foil. So we've opened four. We've gotten one foil. So... Next up, let's go. Oh, this one's a little bent. Does that mean something good? Huh? Huh? Thousand people in here, only 370 likes? What are we doing, guys? Hit that like button. And speaking of a like button, we are going to be opening up Power of the Elements next week um, live. So make sure you guys are here probably next Friday, maybe even Thursday. Um, so make sure to go check that out. We're going to be opening the newest set. It's going to be a super hot set. It's going to be awesome. So go check it out. All right, custom top loaders. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. All right, Gigatech Wolf. This was actually a good one. And so was Soggy. Gigatech was over 200 bucks. Soggy was over 100, I think. Pale. Oh, I made it into the video. Pale Beast. Where's the Pecanio Moth? We're going to get a Pecanio Moth? Hopefully. 
Empress Judge, very nice. The Armored Lizard, okay, nice card. Can you please do behind the back dunk? No, I can't jump. I have no hops. I get like this high off the ground. Bistro Butcher, nice. Doma, the Angel of Silence. Okay, is this going to be another foil? I think it might be the next one. Little Swordsman of Ale and... The Star Boy. Oh, what a classic. Star Boy. There he is. Just the creepiest looking star ever. Like, if I saw that, I'd be scared. Not going to lie. I mean, it is called a monster for a reason, but... LOD retail break uh, next week at some point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would say early next week, probably. Very nice pull for Jerry A. Pulls for Jerry A, I should say. Um, just a few, uh, you know, regular comments. No hollow, so you will be getting a bonus, bonus pack. So, all right. Sleeve this up. Jerry A. Congrats on the pack. Thank you for being here. Who's up next? McKinley O is up next. Starlight DP. Yeah, we will be getting that. We're going to open until we get that thing. We've got one pack for McKinley O. How do you be a part of these? Make sure you click the join button down below to become a YouTube member. And then you'll have access. You'll have discounts. You'll have early access and all that different stuff. Oh, my goodness. I hope that's only the back card. A little bit on that card. But, wow, that back card really got destroyed. That is not good. All right. Soul release, McKinleyo, Larva Moth, the cousin of the Macania Moth. We're getting closer to the Macania. Let's go. Water Emotics. This is the one where it's wearing a shirt. The one in Japanese. It is not. It's pretty, uh, pretty wild. Ancient Elf. Okay, so this Ancient Elf was the one that got absolutely destroyed, unfortunately. Block Attack. Cocoon of Evolution. We are getting so close to the Macania Moth. There's the Cocoon. The Musician King. Protector of the Throne. And is it a foil? blade fly no i feel like this is like one of the worst ones to get no no offense mckinley but whenever i get blade fly i'm like wow blade fly really is this even a monster like it's like a bee but it has it kind of like a scyther except a little bit chunkier okay i guess scyther's cool so maybe the blade fly is cool maybe i take it back all right when am i gonna retire what kind of a question is that <laughs> why would i retire it's like I mean, people retire when they're like 60, right? So 65, I don't know, something like that. All right. Not bad. Let's uh, put that down there. All right, next up, one of the only other people. I think we have two other people that didn't get one. Devlin F, two packs. Collecticon is coming to SoCal. Uh, sounds cool, man. Uh, getting them signed your ghost rares, that's always a little risky. I mean, if you think it adds value, maybe. Or if you're not going to sell it, then I guess it doesn't matter either way. All right. Thanks for the two. We're not cutting any packs. This is a box break. So uh, we're certainly not coming, cutting packs. All right. Devil and F. I wouldn't do it myself anyway. But when it's somebody else's product, you definitely don't do that. Okay. Two packs to go for Devil. Let's see what we can get. We've pulled one foil so far. One foil. Can we get to 500 likes for the Gate Guardian? Will it be in this box? All right. Let's pull something amazing. We've got the Ents from, from uh, I was about to say Mirkwood. Where are they from? The Ents? What, what forest are they in? It's not Mirkwood, right? No, that's a different one. That's in The Hobbit. I don't remember. I forgot. Trent, I got to watch Lord of the Rings again. Punished Eagle. We've got the Armored Zombie. Dude, look at that armor. Insane. Oh, my goodness. We got the Flame Cerberus. Very nice. The Deep Sea Shark. The Sword of Deep Sea. This is the second time we've pulled this, I think. Oh, Pumpkin. This is a good one. I think he's $150 in a PSA 10. So solid pull there. Guilty, $125. So if both of those got 10s, which has the centering on them. Oh, centering's nice on this Pumpkin. Okay, so maybe you could get it there. This one's a little bit worse, but maybe in the range. Okay. Ah. Ah. Not the seven tools. Seven tools of the bandit. No, it's good for Devlin because like he gets an ultra, but oh no. Why is there always a seven tools? Okay, centering is immaculate on this. This might be a PSA 10. Actually, not a terrible pull because, you know, PSA 10, we'll take that. Centering, this is a trap box, apparently. Now we just need Gate Guardian, but wow. Very nice. Seven tools. Okay. PSA 10, I still don't have one of these personally, so not the ultra we're looking for, but it is very nice looking. The pain. It's always the seven tools or the magic jammer or the horn of heaven. Hey, I take this. Okay, this. Okay, low key. 
It's Copium, here it comes. Loki, really cool card for like old formats, you know. It sets on the traps for only a thousand. I mean, you compare it to like Solemn Judgment, you know, versus traps, it's a lot cheaper. So it's it's not the worst. You know, it and Magic Jammer are tied for eighth best ultra rare. So it's better than last, you know, it's better not tenth place. So but Devlin's gonna be happy because when you get an ultra, that's good. So second pack, we have not pulled any supers yet. It's been weird. No secrets, no supers. So we've got two ultra rares so far seven tools not the one we're looking for all right battle steer he is Sube. what else can we get him in terms of commons disc magician rabbit horseman has to be decent i mean that's a classic kaiba card electric lizard a leg hole a ryukishin powered okay a mystic horseman and the muka muka i always thought this was a cool card so I don't, I didn't remember if I saw this one yet. What in the world is that? What is that print? I was like, man, Metal Rage says great printing. And we've had some weird stuff. Like, what is that? It's like, wait, let me look at the last card. Is there anything on the back here? There's nothing on the back. There's a circle on the rare. All right, we're not grading this one a PSA 10. <laughs> Muka Muka, cool card, but what in the world is that? That's weird. You like can't see it unless it's in the light. And then, yeah, that's that's strange. But ultra rare. Devlin, not bad. Not bad. All right. Am I joking? Best boss ever made. No, I'm not. Amazing anime commons. Amazing anime rares. Every ultra, except three of them, are really awesome. Seven out of ten. That's insane for an old school set. You compare it to like IOC, where there's like one good ultra rare or two, I guess, technically. Insane. Pretty amazing. So yeah, this, this set is by far my favorite and I think the best set ever in terms of collectability. We're not talking about playability, of course. Uh, if we're on this channel, we're not talking about playability. Okay, all right. Seven tools is sick. Hey, if you get a PSA 10, might be interested because I need one. <laughs> I need one. All right, let's leave this up. I'm, I'll probably will wait till I grade mine though because I have multiple uh, that I need to grade that are in pretty nice shape. Okay, Devlin. Devlin still did pretty good though. I mean, we're getting an ultra rare is pretty nice. Even though I think some of the supers are probably close to seven tools. Like we get like Karibo or like one of the gay guardian supers or like Harpy Lady Sisters. That's probably pretty close to the same value. But either way, still pretty good. You came here for for the deck strats? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. I got you. All right. Okay. All right. 1100 viewers, 463 likes. Let's get to 500. Let's get to it. Connor G up next with one pack. Let's see if we can get him an amazing super or a gate guardian. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Void, I I really don't know what you're here here for then. I don't I don't know what you're here for, man. Uh, if you're here for for deck strats, then I don't know. Harpy lady, let's go. Oh my goodness. Okay, nice centering. Nice back. Ooh, okay. PSA 10 potential on this one. That's a $350 PSA 10. Insane. Yadu Kuru, very nice. We got the big eye. So two Harvey ladies. Not a bad box so far. Ring of Magnetism. Oh, and the best card you could ever ask for. Petite Moth. OC, of course. Very, very difficult to get this one in PSA 10. There's only five of them, by the way. Or at least last time I checked, there was five. Might be more now. Armored Lizard. We got the Niwatori. Uh, uh, Niwatori. Okay. Bistro Butcher, what's up next? And Tribute to the Doomed. All right. This might be uh, one of the bottom supers, but still, I think, a $250 card. So honestly, it's kind of weird, but this Harpy Lady is worth more if you get a PSA 10. Isn't that crazy? That's pretty insane. So we've got a Tribute to the Doomed. I always thought this was an underrated card. I mean, it's pretty useful in some, like, certain decks. Pretty awesome card, especially if you play like that zombie deck where you want cards in the graveyard and like go format. I really like that that card for it. So pretty dope. Uh, and then of course the, uh, the the Harpy Lady is looking really nice. So potentially really crazy value on this. We've got uh, a 250 and a 350 dollar card if they can get tens, which would be pretty nice. So I think they both have a decent chance. Connor G, congrats on that. PSA pop controlling the the moth, 100 percent, dude, 100 percent. Bring back auction series. Oh, maybe one day. Maybe one day. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we've got two cards that we're going to put in here. So we're going to put these in a top loader. Because I don't like to put one card in a top loader unless it's double sleeved. Because then it can move around. You definitely don't want that. Because, you know, flies out of the thing and shipping. You really don't want that to happen. All right. 
pretty sick. Pretty sick. 1,200 of you here and 500 likes. Not bad. I can respect that. It's pretty solid. You guys are doing pretty good on the likes. So I keep pulling out too many bags here. Connor G, very solid opening for you. Very solid. So far, we've pulled, I think, three foils. Pretty quick. Pretty quick start. Two RB ladies, three foils, two ultras. All right. All right. Next up, we have Steve H. He got four packs. Oh, wait. There's two more people that have more than one pack, actually. Next three packs, we are getting all the way into the second half. Will he pull the Gate Guardian? Let's see what we can do. Could be a triple ultra box. That'd be pretty insane as well. So hopefully that'll happen. All right, let's go. IOC is your favorite, nostalgia-wise. IOC, I think, is very top-heavy. There's some really good stuff, like, of course, the CED, the, uh, what should we call it, the Chaos, Magician of Black Chaos, but the other name, the... Uh, you know, you know, that guy. And then Blackluster Soldier. Those are all really good. But then after that, it definitely falls off a lot. All right, Hibikime. Kaminari Attack. This used to be a crazy money card. I don't know why. I think it was usable for some reason. We got a Gigatech Wolf. $200 card in 10, apparently, according to the last sale. Sagi the Dark Clown. Another val Man, he's pulling good commons right now. Prevent Rat. Gotta be insane. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Launcher Spider. A classic. We've got a Genzo before Genzo even came out. Pretty nice. Deep Sea Shark, and here we go. Oh, Witch of the Black Forest. So that's one of the better rares that you can get. Of course, very playable. Witch of the Black Forest in those old school formats. That's a nice pack. Okay, first start for Steven is pretty good. We'll take that. Magician of Black Magic. Demok, Dark Magician of Chaos. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Couldn't remember the name because, I mean, having three of the same card, basically, it's like that one and then like the ritual one. And then I think there's another one and like they all sound the same. Yeah, the Sorcerer of Dark Magic. It's like they're all the same card, but they look that they like are different completely. Stephen H, second pack. Let's go. PSV box. Oh, definitely love that one. Yeah. Yeah, $10 a few years ago. That's the one I was thinking of. All right. The Sangan format. Yeah. Thing in format was pretty uh that was an interesting uh interesting idea you had there all right doma the angel of silence hey if we pull a sangan out of here that could be valuable in the sangan format doma we've got the empress judge the soul release second pack for steven larva the cousin of the pecanio moth kojukazi sort of deep-seated guilty of the d knight oh nice good one electric lizard so this one not as good in the common department as the last one but the Grande Moth. Centering's pretty good on the Grande Moth. Okay, maybe top to bottom's a little bit off, but Grande Moth, I mean, look how clean these foils are. That's what I love. You open a pack that's 20 years old and the foils are super clean. It's pretty nice. Duro 4 pack opening. Man, I've wanted to open a lot of those before and I just haven't had luck like getting a hold of them. Uh, that would be pretty fun though. That's pretty nice stuff. Stephen H, third pack. So far, pretty solid commons and rares, but no foil yet for him. Let's see if we can get him something good. These commons and rares, though, are pretty amazing, though. So I, I would recommend if you, you think they're going to get PSA 10. Not 9, but if you think they're getting 10, I would potentially grade them. Corey Yugi, what's up? Thanks for the 349. Gate Guardian right here. Okay, let's see. Steven would love that. Water Emotics. The Bickery Bickery Box. We got the Winged Dragon Guardian, the Fortress number one. There's a little, a little white dot right there in the middle of the A. That's kind of weird. The Ground Attack Bug... Ground Attacker Bug Roth. Okay. I used to think this was Burgoth and everyone would always correct me. There's also a ding right there. Dome of the Angel of Silence. The Rainbow Flower. Even the Great Print of Metal Raiders has some issues. Ryukishin Power. This is a classic. And I think, is it this one? No. Mystic Horseman. And. Ooh, Akazi Jin. Super rare. That is beautiful. Centering looks, for the most part, pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Surface looks incredible on the front and incredible on the back congrats steven on an amazing super rare i think this one was around 500 dollars in a psa 10 so big time value on the supers in this set just amazing stuff another reason why i say it is one of the best boost boxes of all time just great value awesome to watch kazi Jin, awesome pull we'd love to see that water emotics uncensored yeah that, that's a different level that's that's not coming to the tcg i mean i would be surprised what if they brought it back lost art that would that would be pretty wild okay we, let's uh sleeve this bad boy up steven h you have one more pack let's do this fourth pack for steven looking amazing gate guardian is in this box i hope so man that would be amazing i have never pulled one first edition so i'd love to pull it for one of you guys here we go seven colored fish and that includes the lips 
We've got a killer needle. There's the bee drill. Skull Knight. See, this is one I didn't see. It is OC, though. Way OC. That'd probably get, maybe even get an 8. Guardian of the Labyrinth. This is also off center. Wait, what is going on? Okay. Tongyo. Okay. Ta Wait, does this look like... That looks like a different hue of yellow on the, like, normal, normal monster. Weird. Baby Dragon. This is another one that's crazy. I forgot to look this one up this time, but I think this one was, like, 300 or something insane. And the centering on this... Pretty good, top to bottom, slightly off. This one may have a chance. He is pulling insane commons right now. Launcher Spider, we've got a Deep Sea Shark, and will he pull another foil? Robin Goblin, not quite. So, okay, honestly, only one for four, but insane commons, like he pulled some really good stuff. So I think he has he actually has a good chance of like doing pretty decent on these four packs. Pretty amazing. Hopefully he has some good luck with those common grade or grades, I should say. So Steven H, thanks for being in the break. This has been awesome. Uh, what are we at? Four, four foils pulled already? Okay, not bad, not bad. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Sleeve that up. Steven H, thank you for being in it. Congrats on your comments and your super rare pull. Hopefully the second half is going to have the Gate Guardian. Next up is Michael S. He has five packs. Michael S. Five, oh, I forgot to put this in the box or in the thing. Five packs. So hopefully if anybody gets it, I feel like... I, I would want him to get it, you know, he put in work, he got five packs, so hopefully he at least gets something. Gate Guardian would be pretty amazing. Five packs for Michael S. Let's see what we can do. I'm super happy. Thanks, Rux, and can't wait for you to see my Yu-Gi-Oh! fan film I'm working on. Dude, <laughs> that sounds awesome. Uh, yeah, I want to react to that on Twitch stream, so send me a link or, and, and, like, tell me, like, a uh, way to open on Twitch stream or something when you do it. Thanks for the $4.99, dude. I appreciate it. Okay, five packs. Let's go, Michael S. Come on, get us the Gay Guardian, dude. We have 11 total packs left, so we are already on to the second half. Whoa, MST TV, how's it going, man? How's it going? It's going well, dude. It is Our, our opening has been going well, I should say, uh, for the most part. There can be three Ultras. I, it might replace the Secret if it does that. It, I think it's technically possible to get Secret three Ultras three Supers. Doesn't happen often, though, so that'd be pretty cool. King of Yami Makai, probably a pretty good one because it is anime relevant, like pretty anime relevant, actually. We've got a Leo gun. We've got the Ancient Elf. The Elf has been ancient. The Niwatori is added again. What does that mean again? I can't remember. The Illusionist Faceless Mage, also probably a pretty good one because Pegasus uses this in like episode two or three. Cybersaurus, okay. The Pale Beast, the Ruxin 34 has made it. The Jellyfish, just a jellyfish. That's all it says. What's the flavor text? An almost invisible, semi-transparent jellyfish that drifts in the drifts in the sea. This does not really look, I mean, transparent to me at all, but okay. And Little Chimera. Okay, the Chimera. Hey, buddy. Not really looking for you. You and the Blade Fly need to hang out, not in this box. That's all I'm saying. It's hot here, but is, is, is it as hot as your pulls? That's a good question. We're about to find out. If we get Gate Guardian, probably not. Okay, next pack. Let's go, Pale Beast 34. If you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic box breaks coming up. And of course, just regular videos, shorts, everything like that. Twitch streams, of course, go check out Twitch. We've been doing a lot of streams over there. Let's go, second pack from Michael Kojikazi. The Dragon Piper. Germ Infection. Ancient Lazard Warrior. The Pale Beast. Ruxin 34, Pale Beast 34. Jurai Gumo, another good one. How's the centering? little bit off maybe it has a chance okay a little bit of whitening up there probably not blackland fire dragon nice prevent rat and oh a karibo okay this is maybe the best super rare in the set surface looks insane uh, is there a little whitening at the top not really okay maybe like a white dot right there i think it came off uh centering is immaculate okay did we just pull a psa 10 karibo i think a 600 dollars card currently karibo i love this artwork it's so nostalgic to me just like the big old fur ball you know it's just a classic from the anime this is a very nice card to pull the best super in the set i believe i, I think in terms of price so that's nice michael s five packs so far is paying off he's gotten himself a karibo so let's leave this up in a nice card saver keep this nice and safe so potentially if he grades it it can get a 10 let's hope it does card savers are always fun to put cards into a little bit awkward but there we go karibo very nice that's an awesome pull i think that looks really really good 
Michael S., congrats, dude. Second pack, you've got yourself your first foil. That's our fifth foil of the box already. So hopefully we have another super and a secret or another ultra and a secret. That'd be insane. All right. You're not even pale. Well, when I record with like the lights, it makes me look even like more pale. So like, you know, I just look very pale in terms of that. Thanks for the $199. Price for pack was $200. All right. Michael S., here we go. Dragon Piper. German Infection. Ancient Lazard Warrior. The Seven Colored Fish. The Oguchi. Very nice. The Cheerful Coffin. Lady De Fe, I think was over 100 bucks, something like that. So pretty solid. We've got the Blue Winged Crown and Princess of Sarugi. We have not seen this one yet. This is the classic. It has the Wolverine like claws, except they're icicles. So always a kind of a cool artwork, I think. Only 900 attack though, so not, not too strong there. But second pack for Michael, not too bad. One for three so far, so not bad. Uh, the packs are already all sold, so uh, there are no packs available. They were all sold to members of the channel, so uh, YouTube uh, join button down below if you want to do that. There's also a link, and uh, yeah, they get the first access to this kind of stuff. All right, let's go. What has been pulled? So far, we have five. Oh, man, we just destroyed that pack, unfortunately. So far, we've pulled uh, five foils, three supers, two ultras. Let's go. Mushroom Man number two. Just have not pulled the Gay Guardian yet. Tongyo. Hopefully we will. Juggler. Oh, we've got a Rock of Grotto number one. The Little Swordsman of Ale. Very nice. The Block Attack. Also very nice. The Big Eye. Okay. Where where the uh where the Oh the first gazelle. I think this is actually a short print. Centering is pretty decent on this. We can't look at the back because the next card is the rear. This is a $250 common. So there's your pack value right there if you can get a PSA 10. And then we have Elegant Egotist. I think this was like in the $100 range, a little bit under 100. So not a bad rare there either. And the centering looks pretty good. Back looks pretty good. Very nice. Let's see about the Gazelle. Gazelle looks good. Oh yeah, back centering uh, looks pretty good. Back surface looks good. Yeah, only thing is it's shifted a little bit this way, but still pretty solid card. Solid pull from Michael. So, so far, Michael doing okay. One for four. We'll take it. All right, let's go. Fifth pack. Let's do this. Let's get him something good. Will we get the gay guardian? Be pretty amazing. Let's go. We have one, two, three, four. Will we pull gay guardian? Will we pull another ultra? Will we pull a fourth super? I don't know. Let's go. 70 bucks. Okay. Yeah, so it was maybe in the 90s, the one I saw. Killer Needle. We've got the Skull Knight. Oh, is this centered? This would be a super sick PSA 10. I mean, just check out the artwork on this guy. Probably some of the best artwork in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is pretty amazing. Guardian of the Labyrinth. Honestly, kind of a similar guy, except, you know, not a Skull, just a regular dude. Maybe that was like before, you know, he went past and became the Skull Knight. We've got the Tainted Wisdom. The Tongyo. I feel like the Tongyos are all a little bit paler. It's kind of weird. Lava Battle Guard, okay. Oh, this is actually a good one as well. It's a little bit off-center though, so it's probably not gonna get the 10, but Lava Battle Guard and Swamp Battle Guard both have good value. More Infinite. This also has the paler one, very interesting. The Unhappy Maid, someone asked about this one earlier. Will it be the Gay Guardian? A oh, Fake Trap, it threw us off, Fake Trap. Oh, Fake Trap, come on, man. All right, just the Fake Trap, but pretty awesome uh, Karibo pull. Of course, the Gazelle's really awesome as well, some other stuff like that, so. Thanks again, Michael, for being in the break. This has been awesome. Uh, really enjoyed it, especially since I think you can get a PSA 10 on this guy. That guy looks really, really nice. All right. We're down to six packs left, I think. Six packs left in the box. So far, insane pulls. Insane pulls. It's been pretty awesome. Uh, I think we're doing pretty well overall. The commons have been good. We've had some centered ones. I think that could get PSA 10. Yeah. Okay. We're lo looking good. We're looking good. Definitely an awesome box to open up if you're looking for good value. Okay. Let's see. We have, I think, one to two foils left out of the last six. So let's see what we can get. Next up is Nicholas M. They're looking for one pack magic. This is a one packer, guys. One pack magic. If you guys are in the chat and you're enjoying the stream, like the uh, like stream, subscribe to the channel for more epicness like this, of course. Shout out to everyone in the break. Appreciate you guys for uh, being members of the channel and, of course, uh, buying in on the break for epic content, stuff like that. So thank you guys so much. 9.5 first ad. I have no idea about BGS prices. I don't really do BGS for the most part. Uh, it's a lot less than PSA 10s, though. Nicholas M. Here we go. Labyrinth Tank. This is also a nostalgic one, which is really cool because they used it. The Paradox Brothers, Gay Guardian. Um, 
They use Gate Guardian, but first they use the Labyrinth Tank to go through the tank, or to go through the Labyrinth uh, Wall. Come on, have we seen, wait, like, Labyrinth Wall, maybe that's an MRL. That might be the next set. Crawling Dragon is also a cool card. The Immortal of Thunder, always a weird one, because, yeah, gain 5,000. But I know you gain 3,000, but you lose 5,000 when it leaves and goes to the graveyard. But it says goes to the graveyard, so kind of weird. Uh, Mega Thunderball, nice card. Musician King. We got Protector of the Throne. Okay, okay. Jurai Gumo, another good common off center. It seems like there's like half off centered commons, half not in this box. Blackland Fire Dragon, and will it be the Gate Guardian? Shadow Ghoul, this is a good rare. This rare, I think, was pretty solid, actually. This is a classic one, of course, because it combines with Labyrinth Wall and makes the, you know, the uh, Wall Shadow attack his Celtic Guardian. Kunai with Chain, what is this? Yeah, that's the that's the Wall Shadow, and it all started with the uh, the Shadow Ghoul, and what, what is this would have never been, like, been a thing if it weren't for Shadow Ghoul, so shout out to Shadow Ghoul for that epicness. Pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Nice, Nicholas M. Thank you for being in it. I really appreciate it. Uh, Shadow Ghoul, very solid. Very solid pull, rare. Uh, you also get a bonus flow, of course, for being in it. All right. What is this? What is this? Robert R. is up next with one pack. Is everybody left one pack magic? Everybody left one pack magic. Robert R., one pack magic. Let's go. Let's do this. Will it be the Gay Guardian? Can we pull it? Come on, guys. Like the stream for luck. Let's go. Let's pull the Gate Guardian. Labyrinth Tank, another iconic one. Crawling Dragon. Can we get another Harpy Lady? So far, only two pulled. The Immortal of Thunder. We got a Mega Thunderball. The Big Eye. Cybersaurus. Very cool. Jellyfish. Okay, this one isn't cool. It's just a jellyfish. The Cheerful Coffin and... turtle i saw it I'm like it's a foil it is a catapult turtle i didn't actually see the value on this one but uh this is not a gate guardian but centering is incredible service appears to be pretty good robert r you got a one pack magic super rare. i'm sure he's not gonna be mad about that catapult turtle beautiful card that is awesome let's go ahead and sleeve that up so now we're really hoping for the gate guardian we got we got to get it guys misha thanks for subscribing to the channel by the way all right all right nice Super rare, Catapult Turtle. So, so far, our supers, pretty good. We got two of the best ones, and I think Catapult Turtle is probably a little bit better than Tribute to the Doomed. You know, it's classic from the anime and stuff like that, but it's definitely not at the level of some of the other ones. So, uh, I would say uh, we've done pretty good in terms of, like, we got a great Ultra and one not-so-good Ultra, two great supers, two, like, not-as-good supers. But even, like, the not-as-good supers out of the set are still pretty good, you know, compared to a lot of other sets. So overall, not bad. Robert R., congrats on the pull, man. Very nice. Uh, we have six foils right now. So if we get another one, it's probably Gay Guardian. So that's what we're really hoping for right now. Did you Apparently, BGS put out new cases today, or like the last couple of days, or, or maybe it's today. I don't know. And they're like weird looking. So I, I don't know like what the deal with that is. All right, Paulo T, one pack. Let's get somebody Gate Guardian. Come on. Can we get it? Can we get a Gate Guardian, please? We need you to spam it in the chat, guys. Spam Gate Guardian. Hey, Spence, Spencer P. He's in the chat. He knows he's like, hey, I hope it's still in there. Because Spencer P. is, uh, He's still got a pack left. All right, bottom dweller. Let's go. Ancient Brain. Share the paint. Ancient Brain. Share the paint. We got a Swamp Battle Guard. Is that our first time pulling him? I think we pulled Lava last time. Did we pull Lava? I don't remember. So, centering's pretty good. This is a pretty good one to get as a foil or as a common. A uh, Queen's Double. Lady de Fay, also a pretty good common. We got the Steel Scorpion. Okay. Blue Winged Crown. Will this be the Gate Guardian? Is this for Palo T? No, we got the Witch's Apprentice. Okay, this is a classic artwork. I always remember this one for some reason. Very nice. Palo T, not bad. Gay Guardian's being spammed in the chat. Okay. Is it going to be in the chat? Will it be? Will it be happening? Will it be epic? Let's go. Let's pull something, guys. I'm ready for the Gay Guardian. I don't know about you guys. If you guys are ready for the Gay Guardian, let me know in the chat. Let's go. GG in the chat. Oh, my goodness. Pick up burp at the same time. Woo. Yeah, that's a good sign. Gay Guardian's coming. All right. Spencer P. One pack. We have three packs left in this box. Let's go. Spencer P. He's in the chat right now. He just said. I just saw him. Let's see what we can do. Spencer, this one's for you. 
This would be pretty cool because we know he's in the chat. So it'd be even more fun to pull the gate guardian. Come on, Spencer. Just do it for us. Just pull the gate guardian. Tremendous fire. We've got an int. We've got a punished eagle. The armored zombie with that epic defense of zero. The lava battle guard. That's a good one. Off center though. So probably not gradable as a 10. More infant. Okay. Pumpkin, the king of ghosts. Okay. Also off centered, unfortunately, but still a good common. The Crass Clown, and will this be it? Come on. Hoshigen, the other star boy. The one that's star boy, except he's yellow. All right. Oh, not the gate guard. I was really feeling that one for some reason. The chat was spamming GG. I was like, this has got to be it. All right. It's even the suspense for the last two. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Two packs to go. No gate guardian yet. Where is the gate guardian? Maybe we have to open that other box that I have. Maybe that's what we have to do. Just open it up for the Gate Guardian. We have Connor G. He has one pack, the freaking star. One pack for Connor G. And then we have one more pack remaining in the box. This is getting intense. What will be inside? Here we go. Last two pack magic. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's do this. Flame Cerberus. Battle Steer. Hisube, the Disc Magician. Oh, the second Pequeno Moth of the box. Way off-centered, of course. We can't get a gradable Pequeno Moth for some reason. The Armored Lazard. Bistro Butcha. Little Swordsman of Ale. Will it be the Gate Guardian? Mindless Radiant. It's coming down to the final pack, Connor G. Thank you so much for being in it, but... It's not the Gate Guardian. We're now into the final pack. We have to believe Jesse P is our last hope. Our last hope is Jesse P. Will he do it? Will he pull something insane? Will he pull the Gate Guardian? Let's go. One pack. Final pack. Last pack. Magic. You guys have been spamming the luck in the chat. Will it give us luck on the final pack for Jesse P? Will Jesse P do this? Will he pull something amazing? Gate Guardian. Let's go. Let's do this. I believe. I believe. We can do this. Chels, we're on the final pack. Final pack for the... We are looking for the Gate Guardian. guardian. Alright, this is for Jesse P. Bottom Dweller. We've got the Ancient Brain. Swamp Battle Guard. Another good common. Pretty centered on this one, so that can be good value. Tremendous Fire. Steel Scorpion. Come on. Prevent rat spam in the chat. Come on fair lip another classic that we have not pulled the entire time. That's nice and Watcher spider. That's just a comment and A tank and all right, this is actually a great uh, rare pull but unfortunately not the gate guardian I think this will actually be really great like a gradable card That'll be worth quite a bit, but unfortunately not the gate guardian another box without gate guardian We're over three now 0 for 3 pulling Gate Guardian out of first edition boxes. Unfortunate, but overall a pretty awesome opening. We pulled some pretty good cards, I think. Jesse P, thanks again for being in it. So appreciate you guys being at the live stream. It's been pretty awesome. Had some pretty good pulls, some pretty amazing rares and commons, but we're going to have to open another Metal Raiders box at some point to get Gate Guardian because huh, we've just been unlucky. So if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We got more stuff coming up, of course, uh, more box breaks like this. Uh, Let's hope that there's more uh, better luck in the future. So see you guys next time. Thank you guys for being here.